Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Davies. I'm a criminal defense lawyer based out of Overland Park, Kansas. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about disorderly conduct. Now, disorderly conduct is one of the most common charges that a person can receive here in Kansas, as far as criminal offenses go. Disorderly conduct is a class C misdemeanor in most jurisdictions. And what that means is that it is the lowest level of misdemeanor that a person can be charged with in Kansas. And the maximum punishment is 30 days in jail. Now, disorderly conduct is pretty commonly charged and sometimes it's mischarged. The fact scenario that gives rise to a disorderly conduct is generally when a brawling situation. If you look at the ordinance or the statute, there is a technical definition of brawling. It's essentially when a fight or pushing some sort of physical contact between two people that they don't believe warrants a battery charge. That's one way they can charge somebody. Or a second way is essentially fighting words. When someone says, communicates, curses, does anything that would incite or cause alarm in a reasonable person. Now, as you can see, these two definitions of disorderly conduct, these two fact scenarios that support a disorderly conduct charge are pretty vague and they're open to interpretation. If you find yourself charged with a disorderly conduct charge, you need to realize that it is a crime in Kansas. And disorderly conduct, um, although it is a low level crime, can still cause someone to have to report that they have been convicted of a misdemeanor, depending on how their case shakes out on job applications to their employer or when they're going through a security clearance or any number of problems with your employer, it is a serious deal and you need to sit down with an experienced criminal defense lawyer to work on your defense and see if there's a possibility that you can avoid a conviction. If you need help, feel free to contact my office.